It's Sarah. So you may or may not have noticed that I have been doing no monthly wrap-ups or TBRs and the reason for that is that I maybe have been going through the biggest reading slump of my life. Like it's really really bad at this point. Since September, since I've gone back to school, it's just been not motivated to read and then lately I have been motivated to read but I just haven't had the time oh, so it's just like oh my god oh yeah also I, got, I just got a haircut today yes so since September I've read a grand total of four four books I went from reading like 11 books a month in the summertime to like one a month that's pretty bad so I'm gonna show you the books that I've read since since September and yeah let's talk about them yeah so first I want to talk about The Night Gardener by Jonathan Oxier this book was phenomenal I've talked about it in a couple other like Halloweeny videos but this book is so good it is a middle grade book a Canadian book also about two young Irish orphans that find themselves in the employment of a very creepy crumbly manor house in the English countryside just like what's going on and then they start seeing things and it's just like what is happening and the style is so magical and you just get like drawn into the story I am such a big fan of this book I'm so glad that I read it because this is like beauty it was a finalist for the governor general's literary awards in the Canadian Council for the Arts so it's just all sorts of good things. All sorts of good things. Next, I read Shades of Dune by Carrie Corp and Laurie Langdon. This is the third book in the Dune series, and it's ridiculous, but good. I have a soft spot for this series. It is a story about two best friends that go to Scotland on their summer holidays and get transported to this magical realm of Dune based on Brigadoon, the play. I watched the movie finally, and it's amazing. It's by the same company that does Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, which is my all-time favorite movie of all time. Oh, it was really good. Anyway, it's like got good romance. It's really cheesy though, so I do like the cheese. You might not like it if you're not into cheesy YA books, but the romance is cute. I like the concept, and even though there's two writers, you can't tell that it's two writers. Like, it flows super well, and yes. Ooh. So the next two that I finished um, were four in the English class, and one of them I've already read. <laughs> yeah. The Berlin Blues by Drew Hayden Taylor. This is a play, actually, that was written by a Canadian Aboriginal man. It was required reading for a class, but I actually kind of liked it. It's like a parody. It's making fun of Disneyland by having these German people go to this small native community in like Ontario or something and they want to build Ojibwe world because the, the native people there are the Ojibwe people. They want to build a native theme park and it's just like all the zany antics. It's just like a huge parody. I don't know. It was interesting but obviously super short. Then I read Monkey Beach by Eden Robinson and this one I actually have read before and it was required reading for this English class. I was like yes because I love this book. It is so good. It's like this spooky, mysterious look at spirituality from a native perspective. If you didn't notice, I'm in an, an Aboriginal studies class. It's an English class. It's really cool. It's about this girl named Lisa Marie and her brother goes on a fishing trip. The boat sinks and they're not sure what it, or they don't know what happened. And it's just like flashbacks of her childhood and her growing up and her struggle between her role as an Aboriginal woman in Canada and just like finding her place in society, as well as finding her place spiritually. Like there's a huge emphasis on spirituality and like magic and what is real and what is not. The ending is very open. Like you don't really know what happens, which I don't really like, but that is, just goes with the weird style. If you're looking for some great Canadian literature, I would highly recommend this book because it is really good. I, I like it. Second time through, it's even better now than it was before. So yeah. 
So I also have Carry On here. I am currently reading it. I'm not done. I'm about halfway through. What page am I on? I'm on page 270 and I am freaking loving this. Holy shit. So good. I thought it was going to be really bad because I didn't like Fangirl. <laughs> Don't shoot me. Like, it was okay, but I just was, like, not into it because I'm not, like, into contemporary very much. But this is so good. Mm-hmm. It's, like, actually so, so good. And I am just whipping through this bad boy. It's like Harry Potter, but then also having homosexuality as a forefront of the story and the characters have really interesting dynamics and the magic system is different enough from Harry Potter that it's like interesting and I'm totally into it and the ghosts and and the humdrum and it's so good. I'm really excited to finish this one. Last night I just finished the last assignment for my term. I just have two exams now. I'm gonna have time to read and work on my Christmas presents, but then I'm gonna have time to read. It's so exciting. And I'm gonna make sure that I am prioritizing reading instead of read it. Anyway, those are the books that I read. Leave in the comments below any thoughts and opinions on the books that I have talked about. Let me know if you have been struggling also with a reading slump because I feel that it is a common issue. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching my video. My name is Sarah and I will see you guys later. <laughs>